Can you, Kamal, Rohan, everyone, let's start yeah. our topic. Okay. So our dis okay. our discussion is on uh, security profile. We can create security profile in Fortinet Firewall Box, and uh, these security profiles we can attach with our firewall policy. So remember our uh, previous uh, discussion, the study session. We are completed uh, our discussion on application control, what is web filtering security profile, then file it. Now we can focus on our last security profile as per our uh, topic discussion. I'm trying to focus on our next and last security profile is called antivirus profile. Okay, so remember application control, everyone. With application control, your, your firewall can detect applications on behalf of application signature database. So your firewall can detect application and you can take an action, no problem. You can allow, you can monitor, you can block, you can authenticate. In case if you want to work with specific URL or URL category, so yes, you can go with the web filtering option. Web filtering option. For example, I want to block. I want to block this malicious link. This link. I don't have any idea about this link, but I want to block in my organization. What I can do? I can block this URL. I can block this URL with web filtering profile. I can block. Now, file filter, in file filter security profile, you can work with file extensions. You can go with the file extensions option. For example, you don't want to allow exe file in your organization. In your organization. No one can uh, upload or download exe file, for example, or PDF file, or WMD file, or MP3 file. So you can go with the file filter. Now let's talk about our next security profile today. It's called antivirus profile. Antivirus profile. So what is antivirus profile? See guys, uh, you know, in our laptop, in our laptop, we have a small uh, antivirus application, right? We have a small antivirus application. You can install it, for example. You can install a small antivirus application. What small antivirus application can do? Your antivirus application can detect viruses, right? Can detect viruses. But you know, you have a small database. You have a small if you have a if you have antivirus application in your laptop, so you have app, you have antivirus signatures. Yes, your firewall, sorry, your machine can detect viruses, but the point is you have a limited signature. It means your Antivirus software can detect limited attacks. For example, you have 10,000 signatures, 5,000 signatures. It's a small application. Your antivirus software is a small application in your laptop. Okay, right now I'm talking about a big database. Antivirus profile, it means in 14 power box, I'm talking about a big database where I have 1 lakh signatures, 1 lakh 50,000 signatures. So if I have, you know, latest signature update and if I have a big database, then my firewall can detect a lots of attack and can take action. So, you know, in, in, in 48, we, we have a same antivirus option, but here we have a big database. So device, we have a big data. So your firewall can detect viruses. Let me show you this antivirus profile option. So antivirus profile can detect viruses, viruses, malware, see. Antivirus profile protect, protect against virus, bombs, torsion, spyware. It means if anyone trying to access any, any type of file or website something, and if it is infected with virus, then your, your antivirus profile can detect. 
what you can do, what you, you can do in, in real scenario, you need to first purchase a license. You have to purchase license for antivirus profile. See, here we have a antivirus option. So you have to purchase license first. If you have license, for example, one year license or three year license, then you can download latest signature update from FortiGuard server. How you can download? You can set a schedule time. For example, I want to download antivirus signature after every one hour. I want latest database. So you can set a schedule time. You can you can get your license information. If you have proper license, what you can do? You can create your antivirus security profile like web filtering, like application control, like file filter. You can create your antivirus security profile and this profile you can attach with firewall policy, with firewall policy. So how to create, it's a very simple task. You know, how to create and how to attach with the firewall policy, it's a simple task. But you know, in real scenario, in real organization, if you want to block, so you have, you need to have latest signature database. If you have latest database, then your firewall, your antivirus profile can detect viruses within a session. So now you can click on create. And for example, this antivirus profile I'm creating for my HR department. So for HR team three, you can see this option detect virus. If virus detect, then what action you can perform? Block or monitor. Block means it means if virus detected by antivirus profile or antivirus engine, please block it. Or you can go with the monitor option. It means you, you are trying to allow, but you, you are trying you are storing the log information. Someone trying to access malicious information or virus infected file or malware infected file. Okay, you want you want only log information, so you can go with the monitor. But in most of the cases, we are trying, we are using block. If virus is detected, I want to block. So you can you can select your action option. Now, here we have inspected protocol. These are called protocol decoders. Protocol decoders. It means if anyone trying to access any file, any file and uh, file is infected with malicious code. And if, if connection is if connection is established with SGTP, SMTP, POF3, IMAP, FTP, CIFS, then your antivirus profile can detect. These are the protocol decoders. If anyone trying to access malicious file through SGTP, you can just enable, then your antivirus profile can inspect, can inspect malicious information through SGTP connection. Right now into this profile, right now into this into this profile, I'm trying to enable all the options. But yes, in real scenario, in your operation, you can enable one or two as per your requirement. So you can just enable, for example, if anyone trying to download malicious information through SMTP, I want to block POP3 post office protocol button three. I want to I want to ins inspect IMAP, FTP, CFS. Just click on it. So you have an antivirus profile. This profile you can attach like other security profiles. You can attach with your firewall policy. For example, I'm trying to attach this antivirus profile. What we have for HR team three. You can click on it. So into this into this firewall policy, you can decide your parameter, your source, destination, your scheduled services. You can decide your parameter. And if traffic is traveling, I told you, if traffic is traveling through the firewall box, through the firewall box, then you can utilize your security profile option. So if action is accepted, traffic is traveling, then you can attach your antivirus profile. If, if uh, you know, uh, malicious information is detected by antivirus profile, so as a firewall administrator, you can see the log message. As a firewall administrator, you can verify the log information. What you can do, you can go into the log and report. You can click on empty 
virus and here you can you can get a detailed information about attack see date and time service information source ip address traffic was initiated from the source ip address which file which file name you are trying to access it is a virus or what date detail url information you can get action so as a firewall administrator you can verify the log information someone will hit on your lt virus profile you can verify it but you know what about inside machine inside pc if he's trying to access malicious information and if it is blocked by 48 firewall box so he will get a response page inside machine will get a response page let me show you you can click on system you can click on replacement message and here we have an option here we have an option is called virus block this is the massive page virus block page so inside machine will get this response page remember i told you about the response page you can change it you can use your company logo you can change your message as per your as per your requirement but this is the default this is the default replacement message now now this is the replacement message this, this is this response page is for inside machine and here you can verify the log information so you know you know uh, in real scenario if you want to test it if you want to do testing uh, for your lt1 profile it is working or not in real scenario so what you can do first first you have to download latest signature update onto this 48 firewall box then you can initiate for testing for testing you can initiate some uh, sessions for example uh, you can use some website for testing eicr.org so you can use this website to download virus information wicar or or wicar.org so either you can use eicr.org or wicar.org these websites can help you to download viruses so uh, for example i'm on, i am on to this inside machine and uh, you can click on download nt malware test file and here here we have a virus these are infected file okay if you want to crash any one machine your friend machine any machine just open this website download this file and just run it execute it it's a it's a malware so for testing for testing you can most of the admi administrators they are using this eicr.org or they are using wicr.org clear my point about about antivirus profile option any question uh can you come on here rohan yavar uh sir uh we uh jab log configure karte hai, wo jo policy hai, except ke case mein, then we have to go for the then the uh go for the security check for the uh, security profile right yes agar deny ha yes. yahan pe yeah. accept hai. agar aur aur agar deny kar denge to jayega hi nahi matlab to block hi kar dega pura exact jab traffic hi deny hai to aap usme kya check karoge ha ha definitely definitely right, right. jab koi jab koi traffic ja rahi hai to packet aa raha hai ja raha incoming outgoing hai then us packet ke andar us payload ke andar aap malicious information ko search kar sakte hain exactly right theek hai okay good understood Okay, any question? Kamal, uh, can you we have an inspection method, flow base and proxy base. Remember? Kuch yaad hai? Day, day two of study come. Day two video me aap dekhoge. Day two hai day three. Nahi, day two nahi. Day three or day four me aapko milega. Jo firewall policy ki video. Thik hai? Right. So, differences okay. me clear kar dekho. Me aapko pata dekho. You can first follow the slide or you can follow the video, Rohan. So, aapko idea mil jayega. Dono me difference ke. 
ये आपका इंस्पेक्शन मेथड होता है ठीक है फ्लो बेस एंड प्रोक्सी बेस तो ये फ्लो बेस एंड प्रोक्सी बेस मेथड हर जगह आपको मिलेगा पॉलिसी क्रिएट कर रहे हो वहां भी आपको मिल रहा है आप अगर फॉर एग्जाम्पल एंटीवास प्रोफाइल बना रहे हो देन आपको मिल रहा है कि आपको फ्लो बेस्ड करना है एंड प्रोक्सी बेस तो इन दोनों में डिफरेंस आपको पता है नहीं सर है मुझे याद नहीं है कोई बात नहीं मैंने आपको इंस्पेक्शन मैं सबको इंस्पेक्शन मेथड बताया हुआ अगर याद होगा किसी को या वर गैन यू कमल यस सर यस रिमेंबर आवर डिस्कशन ऑन फ्लो बेस इंस्पेक्शन मेथड एंड प्रोक्सी बेस सो रोहन पहले आप इसको देख लो एक बार ठीक है ठीक है सर कोई बात मैं उस डे डे 3 और डे 4 ठीक है ओके पॉलिसी को आप देख लो उसमें मैंने डिस्कशन किया ओके सर वो चेक कर लेता हूँ और एक सर इसमें एक क्वेश्चन था कि हम लोग ने ये क्रिएट किया है तो इसमें जो एंटीवायरस के जो सिग्नेचर्स होंगे इसके लिए हमें सोर्स वगैरह कुछ बताना नहीं होता क्या लाइक कहा से वो डाउनलोड करेगा वगैरह नो आप सिस्टम सेटिंग ऑलरेडी है कुछ नहीं करना आपको देखो यहाँ पे DNS की एंट्री ऑलरेडी FTP फोर्टी गार्ड सर्वर्स की एंट्री ऑलरेडी पड़ी हुई है ओके ओके तो ओके वो उसको वो है इसे मिल जाएगा कि फोर्टी गार्ड से कनेक्ट होके डाउनलोड करना है ओके कुछ और कुछ सिर्फ व्हाट व्हाट यू कैन डू यू कैन फर्स्ट परचेज लाइसेंस फॉर एंटीवायरस हां सर एंटीवायरस देन यू कैन सेट अ स्केड्यूल टाइम टू डाउनलोड लेटेस्ट सिग्नेचर ओके और सर कुछ सिनेरियोस ऐसे भी होते हैं जहां पे हमारा जो फायरवॉल होता है वो इंटरनेट फेसिंग नहीं होता है कनेक्टेड नहीं होता है इंटरनेट से ओके ठीक है हम लोग मैन्युअली हम लोग डाउनलोड करके और शायद उसमें नो इंटरनेट फेसिंग इंटरनेट फेसिंग इज अ डिफरेंट वर्ड ठीक है एक होता है इंटरनेट से डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड है लेकिन कनेक्टेड है okay. आप देखो आप अपना फायरवॉल आप कह रहे हो ना कि आपका फायरवॉल है वो इंटरनेट से डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड नहीं राइट से कनेक्टेड नहीं है राइट ये राउटर आपका योर राउटर इज कनेक्टेड विद इंटरनेट राइट नो ओके हां सर तो अगर आप हाँ ठीक है ठीक है अब अपना क्वेश्चन आप कंप्लीट करो बस सर मतलब कंसर्न ये है कि अगर हमारा डायरेक्टली इंटरनेट से कनेक्टेड नहीं है ओके सो हम मतलब फायरवॉल जो है वो इंटरनेट से डेटाबेस डाउनलोड नहीं कर पाएगा सो so, ऐसे में हम लोग मैन्युअली कैसे कर पाएंगे उसको मैन्युअली आप नहीं कर सकते यू हैव टू कनेक्ट योर फायरवॉल विद द इंटरनेट अच्छा ओके okay. अगर आप सिंगल फायरवॉल बॉक्स का वर्क कर रहे हो सो यू हैव टू कनेक्ट योर फायरवॉल विद इंटरनेट एंड अगर इफ यू आर वर्किंग विद मल्टीपल 14 फायरवॉल बॉक्स इफ यू हैव इफ यू हैव 50 14 फायरवॉल बॉक्स तो हर एक फायरवॉल बॉक्स को इंटरनेट से नहीं कनेक्ट कर सकते ना हां सर In that case, we can download all the signature updates on a centralized device. It's called Forty Manager. Okay. And from Forty Manager, we can push into the Forty Gate Farm Box. Okay. यहाँ पे क्या करना होगा? You have to connect your Forty Gate with internet to download latest signature update. कैसे भी करके. Okay. Either you can, either you can. आपके सिनारियो में यू हैव डेडिकेटेड मैनेजमेंट पोर्ट सेपरेट मैनेजमेंट पोर्ट सो यू कैन कनेक्ट मैनेजमेंट पोर्ट विद इंटरनेट कनेक्टिविटी दिस इज व्हाट अ डेटा इंटरफेस दिस इज व्हाट अ मैनेजमेंट दोनों अलग है ओके क्लियर रोहन हाँ सर ओके सो दिस इज आवर प्रोफाइल इज कॉल एन टी वन एंड दीज आर द टॉपिक्स Security profiles question. We are completed these sections, chapter number one to chapter number seven, and now we can focus on these topics, chapter number eight to fourteen. Gani, any question? Kamal, any question? Sir, ha, sir, question hai ek thoda ka. Security profile mein aye. Ha, okay, okay. Security profile. Mm hmm. अब ये नीचे वेब प्रोफाइल ओवरराइट ये ठीक है हाँ। वेब प्रोफाइल ओवरराइट इस ये टॉपिक आपके एनएसई फोर का नहीं है कभी अच्छा हम्म आप पहले आप पहले चलो मैं आपको समझाता हूँ इसको फोर्टी एट जो फाइवल बॉक्स पे आप वर्क कर रहे हो ना उसमें दो मॉड्यूल होता है एक होता है एनएसई फोर एक होता है एनएसई सेवन � 
ठीक है मैं आपको समझा तो इसी फाइबल बॉक्स पे आप काम करते हो एन एस सी सेवन के अंदर जहां पे आप एडवांस चीजें स्टडी पहले आप समझ देखो आपका जो फाइबल है एक होता है एन एस सी सेवन क्लियर नाउ सो आई एम नॉट डिस्कसिंग हियर बट आई एम गिविंग यू आइडिया वेर यू कैन लर्न वेर यू कैन लर्न दीज टॉपिक्स बिकॉज सी on same power box on same power box you will do your nsc4 training and on same power box you can do your nsc7 training same device on same device okay so i hope security profile concept is clear for everyone so we can focus on our these sections now chapter number 8 to chapter number 14 we can start now a small topic today is called layer to fiber box into this section into this section we can we can uh, start first layer to fiber discussion any problem any problem in anyone anyone no sir no sir okay so let's start our no. discussion on layer to fiber layer to fiber so where we can use layer 2 firewall concept or or in 14 you can say transparent fiber we can say transparent fiber so remember always we can use our firewall box in two mode either you can use your firewall box as a l3 firewall or you can use as a l2 firewall device l3 firewall is known as nat mode firewall it's called nat mode fire and l2 firewall box is called what transparent fire transparent where we can use see for example if my device my firewall my device is acting as a l3 fire for example l3 fire so we can configure ip address onto these interfaces I put it on the digital interface. This is the L3 device. This is the NAT mode device. So we can we can configure routing onto this firewall box, NAT, VPN. Okay, and it's L3 device. It's this, it's a firewall. It's a next generation firewall. So we can use next generation firewall feature. Okay, and we 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 guys are we guys are now familiar familiar. With L3 firewall discussion, remember our uh, previous configuration, routing configuration on firewall, a NAT configuration on firewall. So we guys are familiar with the L3 firewall, right? Yavar, Yaniu, Kamal, Rohan. Yes. Sir. Okay. What about what about layer two firewall? In this scenario, we can use layer two firewall because see. because in case if this firewall device is acting as a layer 2 or or you can say transparent firewall box if this device is acting as a layer 2 so we cannot configure ip address onto these interfaces because these interfaces are acting as a layer 2 they are acting as a layer 2 interfaces so we cannot configure ip address onto these interfaces we cannot configure routing nat vpn no we cannot configure onto this layer 2 firewall box but it's a layer 2 firewall it's a firewall it's a layer 2 firewall so we can use all next generation firewall feature so the point is point is with layer 3 with layer 3 we have great feature with layer 3 firewall we can configure ip address on interfaces we can configure routing vpn and nat right so in this scenario we can use our firewall as a layer 2 because with layer 2 we have we have limitation with layer 2 firewall we have limitation we cannot configure we cannot connect this firewall box with internet directly we cannot connect with the internet because on layer 2 firewall box you cannot configure routing so the point is in this in this scenario we can use our firewall as a layer 2 so let's let's start our discussion a scenario so here i am working with a basic routing switching concept for example i am working in a routing switching topology 
routing switching technology. One router and one switch. And this L3 router is connected with the internet. So I'm working with a simple routing and switching topology. Everything is working fine into this topology. Everything is working fine. It means uh, traffic. Traffic is this PC is forwarding forwarding his traffic to the switch. Switch is forwarding traffic to the router. And based on his routing table, your router is forwarding this traffic to the outset. To the outset. Everything is working. Now into this topology, you want to de deploy a firewall today, for example. You want to deploy a, a firewall here. In that case, if I'm using, if I'm trying to deploy my firewall device here as a L3, Let, let's take an example. If this device is acting as a layer 3 firewall, so you can verify here for information. Right now, we have a single submit. In our LAN side, we have a single submit. Single lane book, this side, and this is what different submit, public portion. So now into this topology, if I'm trying to, if I'm trying to deploy a firewall here as a L3 firewall device, L3 firewall device, so, so this, now we need to divide our single submit, single lane book into multiple submits, right? Everyone? See, if this device is acting as L3, so these interfaces, these interfaces are acting as a L3 interfaces. These interfaces are participating in different subnets. So we have a different network here and different name. It means you have to change your existing IP address scheme in your organization. If you are trying to deploy a firewall here in your logistics now, you have to change your IP address scheme now, right? Yes or no? Everyone, ah, sir. you have to change. Okay, in case, for example, you want to deploy, so yes, you can change, no problem. You can configure IP address. You can deploy, you can do this, no problem. But you know, in case, if you don't want to change in your existing scenario, for example, if you don't want to change IP address scheme in your existing scenario, but you want to deploy a firm, what is my point here? I don't want to change IP address scheme, but I want to use firewall feature. So I can deploy my firewall as a layer two firewall. This firewall is acting as a layer two. So these interfaces are acting as a, they are acting as a layer two interfaces. Layer two interfaces. We cannot configure IP address here, no. It's L2 interface. It's not a switch port. It's L2 interface. It's not a switch port, no. Right. It's an L2 interface. It means we cannot configure IP address. That's it. But we need to, but we need to put a alias name, for example. This is a LAN interface. This interface we are using as a WAN. And it's a firewall. It's a firewall. To, so to allow traffic from this income interface to this outgoing interface, you need to configure. Firewall policy. Hey, sorry, I have a question there. Yes, yes, Kelly. Yes. Can you uh, can you not use uh, the feature called the uh, the virtual wire? Virtual wire concept is a part of layer two. Can you? Okay. Virtual wire pairing is a concept. And this concept you can use when your device is a part of transparent. When your device is acting as a layer two firewall box, so you can use this small feature is called virtual wire pairing. I will show you. Clear, yeah, can you? Yeah, but I thought you can also use it if your device is acting as a NAT, like a NAT firewall. Sorry? You're using it as layer three. I thought you can also use it if you're using your, your firewall as a layer three firewall. Yes, you can use. Yes, you can use. You can use. You can go on to the firewall box. Let me show you. Virtual wire pairing. It's a it's a concept, Gany. Okay. It's not related with the layer two only. See, you can click on network, you can click on interfaces. Here is the option virtual wire. You're talking about this topic, right? That's correct. Yes. 
So I, I, I can show you same option in layer two file box, no problem. The concept is common for both L2 and L3, clear? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, understood, thank you. Okay. Okay, so now, if you don't want to change the IPDS scheme in your network and uh, you want to deploy your firewall box, firewall box, so you can deploy as a layer two firewall device. Clear my point, the scenario where we can use Yavar clear now, uh, Kamal, Rohan? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So what we can do for, for practice, for practice, I'm wait. For practice, I'm, I'm trying to create a small topology, not on EVNG. I'm using any other application. Wait, give me five minutes. Okay, so I have a small topology for layer two firewall discussion. Small, small topology, one firewall box. So this R2 is connected with the internet. Uh, Yavar, Rohan, Kamal, can you, can you hear me? So this R2 is connected, yeah. topology is what? This R2 is connected with the internet. And behind R2, I'm using my layer two firewall device. This box is acting as a layer. I'm, I'm using as a layer two device. By default, it's a native device. But I will, I will change them, no problem. And this R1 is acting as a LAN PC. So this portion, this portion of the network is, is a LAN portion. So same series of IP address I'm using. Please wait. I'm trying to configure basic things, IP address configuration on each interfaces. Thank you. 
As per our topology, port number one, I'm using as a management port. So this port number one is connected with this cloud. This cloud is my laptop. So simple topology. Uh, can you, Kamal, Rohan, Yavar, Pavel will take time. Can we take a break for five minutes? Kamal, Rohan, Yavar, can you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Let's take a yeah. break for five minutes. Uh, we can continue at, at 3.20. Please turn off your mic. Okay, sir. Okay.
Okay, uh, can you hear me? Can you, Kamal, Yawal, Rohan? Yes, sir. Okay, let's start our discussion. So I'm trying to configure port number one first. Kamal, Johan, Ganyu. Yes, sir. So by default, this device is acting as a layer. One ninety two, one sixty eight, two five five, one ninety. So you can verify here, guys. This device by the, this device is acting as a NAT mode by default. See, mode is what operation mode is NAT. It means we can configure IP address on to be these interfaces. For example, you can select your interface uh, port number two. Edit. See, here is an option for IP address configuration. So we can configure IP address here. You can also verify these information. Routing you can configure static. And advanced routing option you can configure is available. You can go on to the policy to allow traffic from one interface to another interface. You can configure your firewall policy. Yes, you can create. And with firewall policy, you can attach your NAT option. It's available. And we have a dedicated tab for VPN configuration. See, dedicated tab for VPN implementation. So this device is acting as a layer three. But I want to use this device, this box as a layer two firewall box. Layer two firewall box. Then what you can do, you can go on to the CLI option. So config system setting and set OP mode. Command is what? Set OP mode is called operation mode. You can type question mark here. You have two options, NAT and transparent. So you can decide, for example, I want to use this box mode as a layer two firewall box so transparent you can just enter and now now see everyone if this device see if this firewall box for example let's let's use it so so if i have a firewall box you can say layer two firewall box if this device is acting as a layer two power box, so I told you we cannot configure IP address on any interfaces. So if, if I cannot configure IP address onto any interfaces, so in case if I want to manage this device through HTTP, through Telnet, through SSH, then how 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 can I access? Because uh, Sorry, land land port. Se log, uh, nahi, nahi, right. Land port. Nahi, sir, sir. These are the right. data interfaces. Right, 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 sir. So, yeah. so it's up to you. You can decide it's a land port or WAN. My point is, if this device is acting as a layer two firewall box, so we cannot configure IP address onto these interfaces. So, how I can manage this firewall box through HTTPS, through SSH, through Telnet? I think you can use the dedicated management interface. Okay, okay, perfect. It's a, it's a one answer again. again. It's a one answer. See, maybe in your you are working with high end appliance and you have a dedicated management port. Perfect, perfect, no problem. But in case again, you if you have an in uh, entry level firewall box, for example, then for example you have fourteen eight sixty e, then in entry level firewall box you don't have dedicated management port, right? Can you? Yeah, entry level, level firewall box. We don't have a separate dedicated management port. Then what we can do? We have only data interfaces. 
Kamal, Rohan, Yavar. Okay, guys. Remember C C N routing and switching concept. If I have a layer to switch, for example, layer to switch. In case if I want to manage this layer to switch through telnet, what I can do, everyone can help me. I have a layer to switch. I want to manage. Config, yeah, maybe configure a virtual interface on the uh, uh, SVI interface, right? Uh, on, layer, on, SVI. on layer to switch, we cannot configure SVI interface. Can you? It's just it's not a router. <laughs> yeah. Yavar, can you help me? Rohan, Kamal. If I want to manage layer to switch through telnet, what I can do? We have to enable VTI port for this. What? What? We have to enable? To access the switch, we have to enable the VTI port over the switches. Then we have to... VTI? Virtual... virtual. VTI. BTY, BTY it's, a layer to, it's a layer to switch. Yeah, but it's not a layer to switch. No, no, no. Oh, Cisco layer to switches, we can uh, we can tell it through the switches. We have to enable the BTY port over the switches. BTY port. Uh -huh. see, 0 to 15 see, port. BTY, BTY, see, BTY, BTY, you have confused. BTY, you have router. It's not a point. You can. No, no, sir. एक एक में मैं मुझे समझ में नहीं आया मतलब व्हाट व्हाट यू आस्किंग आप क्या बोल रहे थे इट बी कंप्लीट बीटीवाई तो आप स्विच और राउटर दोनों पे इनेबल करते हो राइट लाइन बीटीवाई राइट क्या बोल राइट राइट ठीक है माय क्वेश्चन इज अगर एक लेयर टू स्विच है और उसको अगर एक्सेस करना है थ्रू टेलनेट एक मशीन से तो आप कैसे करोगे बिकॉज़ ऑन लेयर टू स्विच अच्छा ठीक है यू कैन नॉट कॉन्फिगर आईपी एड्रेस ऑन इंटरफेस राइट Right. So what we can do? So here we can use a concept of VLAN. Right, VLAN right, right, right. Can you remember management VLAN? Yeah, right, right. VLAN one. VLAN one is a management. VLAN. Yes, we yeah. can configure IP address on VLAN one. Right. So same concept here we have in in, in fourteen eight. We have a management management concept. See, you can go on to your firewall box. And here you can set management IP. Management IP. It's it's a it's a layer to firewall IP on any interfaces. It's a management IP. So now 192.168.255. I'm using for example 184 slash 24. Now it's a layer to firewall. This device is not connected with the internet. So in case if I want to download latest signature update, then I require a gateway, right? It's a device. So this device is, is also required a gateway. So we can set a gateway information. Through gateway, you can go on to the internet side. So for example, 255, 192.168.255. Now we can type end and press enter. Once you once you go with the end command, now you are getting a message changing to TP mode. Changing to TP mode. So this device, this device is acting as a transparent mode now. The tra transparent mode firewall. How you can verify? See. Now if you refresh your page. Now, if you refresh your page, see, you cannot access for time because now IP address is changed. IP address is, is 184. So now I'm trying to access 192.168.255.184. Username, admin, password, 123. And now this is layer 2 file. It's a transparent file. How you can verify? It's a complete firewall. But, but it's a layered mode. See, mode is transparent. Mode is transparent. So in case, if you go on to the interface, network tab, for example. In network tab, we have, we have only these options. Interface, DNS setting, packet capture, and routing table. That's it. 
there is no any option available for static routing configuration and advanced routing configuration see if you click on interface if you select any interface for example port number port number two if you want to add it you can define only alias information there is no any option for ip address configuration you can verify that no option is available if you go into the firewall policy click on ip for policy click on create create new you can define you can define all the parameters here no problem but see for nat for nat there is no option you cannot configure nat here and see remember our vpn configuration there is no tab for vpn so it's a complete firewall it's a complete firewall what you can do you can as per our topology, I'm trying to configure port number two and port number three. So network interface port number two. Port number two, you can give an alias name, for example, LAN services if you want to enable. WAN port number three, I'm using as a WAN alias name. Services you can enable if you want. Done. If you want to allow traffic from one interface to another interface, you can configure firewall policy. Let's go on to the topology. I'm trying to configure R1 and R2. Wait, interface, fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So 200, 200, 200, dot 10. No shutdown. Now R2. Two hundred, two hundred, two hundred dot eleven. Now, if I'm trying to ping from this inside PC, if I'm trying to ping same series of five eleven, I cannot ping because we have a firewall in between R one and R. So to allow traffic from one interface to another interface, we can configure firewall policy. So create new. You can give a name, for example, LAN to WAN, incoming interface, outgoing interface, source. I'm using any destination. I'm using any services, for example, any. Click on OK. Done. Now, in case if I'm trying to ping this time, I'm getting the play. It's a complete firewall box. So you can create your security profile. You can attach with your firewall policy. And rest of the options are same. User and devices, it's a common topic for layer three, layer two. Log and report, it's a common topic for layer three, layer two. Clear this concept. Layer two firewall box, it's a clear, it's a simple topic. Now, Let's discuss one concept here. It's called virtual wire pairing. See, you can click on create new. Here's the option virtual wire pair. What is pair means? It's a pair. It means it's required only two interfaces. So, you know, virtual wire pairing is a concept where you can combine two interfaces. You know, guys, you know, guys, we have same concept in Palo Alto file. Same concept, but in Palo Alto, this is called virtual wire pairing same concept in Palo Alto 48 concept is called virtual wire pair so here you can give a name for example I'm, I'm giving a name B wire one one now you can click on member interface so if I'm trying to select for example port number seven see what I'm getting a what I'm getting I'm getting a message a virtual wire pair must have exactly two interface members so port number eight done you cannot add maximum port. for example if you're trying to add any other you cannot they are not highly highlighted so you can click on okay it means you have virtual wire pair it means i want to allow traffic only in between port number seven and port number eight see if you go on to the policy if you go on to the policy 
what we have we have option ipv4 ipv4 policy we can create our room now once you refresh your page because virtual wire pairing is enabled so once you refresh your page now you are getting a new tab virtual wire pair policy so i have a virtual wire pair is called v wire one if you click on create you have two interfaces remember our interface port number seven and eight so you can configure firewall policy only in between seven and eight now these interfaces you cannot use in your this policy clear now we can pair our interfaces it's a simple concept we can only pair our interfaces clear the concept can you kamal rohan uh, sir ye jo humne do interfaces bana hai aur hmm. jo humne ye option use kaha to usse kya matlab wo do particular interfaces ke beech mein hi hum log rule bana exactly yes aap pairing kar rahe ho aap do ko bol rahe ho bas ye do interface aapas mein baat karenge yes okay okay small concept yani clear for you you are clear rohan yes understood so this is our topic is called layer 2 firewall discussion now we can focus on in next session we can focus on vpn first any problem uh, sir actually virtual wire mein yahi hai na ki we use combine more than one physical interface with one wire is a yes it involves yes in palo alto yeah palo alto you can create virtual wire hmm. pair and you can put your interfaces hmm same concept we have in palo alto yes well, right okay सर इसमें एक क्वेश्चन था मेरा इसमें जैसे लैन टू लैन हम बनाते हैं ना हमारे तो उसको भी ऐसे इस तरह से कॉन्फ़िगर कर सकते हैं लैन टू लैन मतलब जैसे जैसे लैन वन से लैन टू लैन लैन टू लैन पॉलिसी के लिए बात कर रहे हैं आप हाँ जी जी आप यू कैन कॉन्फ़िगर योर एरियाज एंड यू कैन डिफाइन योर पॉलिसी पॉलिसी तो आप कुछ भी सेलेक्ट कर दो आपको जिस इंटरफेस के बीच में पॉलिसी नहीं नहीं अभी वर्चुअल पेयर की बात करो वर्चुअल पेयर के लिए आप बड़े आराम से कर सकते हो ये दो इंटरफेस आप मान लो लैंड के अंदर यूज कर रहे हो एग्जैक्टली exactly. ऐसा सिनेरियो हो सकता है कि आप एक लैंड के अंदर दो इंटरफेसेस को यूज कर रहे हो और उनके बीच में क्योंकि हो सकता है कि यहाँ पे यू हैव अर वोल सी सो आई हैव अ वर्चुअल वायर पेयर pairing in between these two interfaces come on okay so ye interfaces pe servers hai and then on to these interfaces we have a client so sirf ye dono baat kare clear that's all okay clear now yes sir now let's start our next topic in next class okay next session we will this next weekend we can we can focus on ipsec and ssl vpn clear rohan i will upload this video uh, today i have a continuous batch so i will i will be free at 9:30 pm so i will upload all the video in yesterday session video and today video okay thank you bye everyone take care guys bye, bye everyone